This is Cynthia Sue Larson with Reality Shifters. I'm in San Francisco, California, and I just got a email message recently of, regarding the, the matter of quantum computers being used as an analogy, as a metaphor for what we experience when we go through reality shifts, and also this idea of quantum consciousness. The concern was expressed in the sense that um, it's a legitimate concern that currently a lot of quantum computing is still being created from a binary classical point of view and it's not really fully incorporating what we would consider to be actual quantum logic and I definitely agree with that in fact this is something that I've been dancing around and presenting from the point of view of some of the pioneers that are in the fields of quantum biology such as John Joe McFadden who just wrote a fa fabulous book Life on the Edge and also Jerome Busemeyer who wrote a book about quantum cognition and getting into the idea that our memory processes and decision processes are actually very quantum in nature and also quantum cosmologists such as Yasunori Nomura those first two interviews are on my radio show you can listen to them through mp3 download or uh, just podcast it's through Dream Vision 7 radio network based out of Boston Massachusetts and the ideas that I'm bringing together from these pioneers are designed to help get all of us to start thinking about the way that we can go beyond the previous rather limited view of quantum logic that was originally presented by John von Neumann. And that, of course, led us to create wonderful things in Hilbert space to conceptualize this imaginary borderline between the classical realm and the quantum realm, supposedly based on the size, and it made sense for a long time to look at things that way. But I would say that even quantum computing is going to require a much better form of quantum logic of a nature that basically encompasses the idea that quantum processes such as superposition of states definitely occur at all levels of reality, not just on the quantum very tiny scale, but also for myself, for you, for everyone and everything around us, including um, islands, bridges, buildings, everything. And so when we look at the world that way and also consider ideas such as entanglement and coherence and teleportation in addition to superposition of states, now these are well-known quantum phenomena when we start thinking that maybe there is no border, maybe there is no line of demarcation, maybe people that are coming up with that theory of everything that unites the, the um, cosmological forces, everything from the quantum to the classical, uh, maybe there's something to that. And that's exactly what I'm saying when I look for an answer to explain how do we account for the fact that very often some of us experience reality shifts and quantum jumps, that this is not something of fiction, but it happens to all of us. So today I'd like to ask that question, how good can it get with relationship to envisioning a better quantum logic and a world in which there is no boundary between the so-called classical and quantum realm. Until next time, this is Cynthia Sue Larson with RealityShifters.com in San Francisco, California. Thanks.